Hello precious people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel T. Cletus and I film about faith, love and lifestyle. If you are new here, please subscribe and join this wonderful, amazing family because the love here is oh boy. So today, very quick, uh, this is a very quick one. I wrote it down, so I'm going to run very fast. I want to talk to you about ways and how you can work out of financial pressure like ASAP. One is your love for God. You have to love God. Oh, eh? You have to love God. Mm. Love the Lord with all your heart. Because if you want to make money, I mean kingdom money. I don't mean for one night. Oh, yeah, all those ones. Ah. If you want to make money, the Bible says it is God who gives us the power to make wealth. So you have to pray to get that power for him to give it to you <laughs> before you can make money. Because some people are making money and when they put it inside their pocket, it's like their pocket has hold. The money is disappearing. They can't tell what they're doing with their money. They are laboring like elephants. They have money, but they can't. Before they know, it's ah, all the money I make. Ah, money is C0. So it's not by how much you. If that power is not given to you, you labor, 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 make money, but you don't do anything tangible with it. So that is why you need to love God because it is God that puts protection on your money. It's God that helps you not to spend your money on sickness. Use it for case, waste it on things. Satan will just add any problems that will make you waste the money. I will not use it for anything tangible. So you cannot rule out the love of God from your money. The next one is that you should work, work. Uh, you can be praying for money and you are at home sleeping from morning to night. You are not working. It is the works of your hands that God will bless. <laughs> it's not your prayer. I watched a, a short clip. Two people, two, a, a man and a lady, they are young people. They were praying, money, money, 100 million, 100 million, 100 million. And they, it, it, it will not break. You don't pray to get money. You work to get it and God will bless the works of your hands. So go out there, get something doing is very important. The next one I'll talk about is invest in the kingdom. Ah, invest in the kingdom. Oh, learn to do something in the house of God. What are you doing in your church, in your local church? It's not about pastor and all those things. Eh? Where your love is, that's where you spend. If you love your wife, you spend on your wife. If you love the Lord, you will give to the Lord. All this, uh, when I give money in the church, it's pastors that chop it. I believe that thing. Except it's pastors that they are bele kolo. If no original pastors, they don't even, they, they, they give more than you. Every good pastor gives more than their members because your members can only give what you can give. If you're a 50 naira pastor, that's how your members will be even bringing 30, 30 naira. So when we talk about giving, don't just think I want to go and make pastors rich. The only pastor you make rich is the one that his stomach called. And that kind of prosperity doesn't last for long because very soon God will disgrace him. It's not God that called him. <laughs> so please, I beg in the name of God, invest in the kingdom. Do something. Do something in the house of God that God can remember you with. The next one is guide your lifestyle. Lifestyle I want to talk about here is waste. A lot of people waste a lot. They waste. Excess waste. Go for what you want. Learn how to prioritize. What do you need? What is most important to you right now? That's what you should go for. You don't go for everything. Buy, buy, buy. Even buy the ones you don't need in the next two weeks. In the next um, two years, you buy. At the end of the day, ah, that was how I was living a very wasteful life. I will go, when, if I want to go and buy a dress or something, I will buy, 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 buy. By the time I come back to the house, I no longer like them. I will dash them out. So what's the need? If you am led to buy something to give to somebody, I buy. Not because I, I wasted. Some of you buy. When you come back home, the things you bought, you no longer need them. That's waste. Go for what you want. Then some young people, the way they recharge, they even recharge card more than a dangote. How much is your, your income in the month? You recharge, buy data, buy data, buy data. Then some of them have become corporate beggars. If you meet them online, please sub for me. Sub for me. Sub for me. Subscribe for me. Hey, my dear, who do you? You were, you were not born to be a beggar. Stop wasting your life. And wasting your money. You carry big phone. You, you buy uh, data. 
you will buy credit, you will buy, buy, call, you will call people, you will call your name, your friend, you say, how are you, you even greet his dog, greet the baby sitting there, greet uh, the goat, greet the dog baby in their house, I mean, if you have money, it's okay, all those things is not necessary, you call someone, and the person say, hold on, and the thing is sitting, boom, 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 waiting for you to finish talking, so that you keep talking, and this is credit, how much is your salary, ni? <laughs> yeah, <this. laughs> you can't be crying for money. Then some of you eat large. Eh? How much are you earning that you be using how much meat? You buy meat in one sitting, you eat 10, 10 pieces, I be lumps of meat and 20 we stock fish, fish, everything inside. <laughs> if you have money, it's okay. But if you don't have money, my dear, learn to curtail yourself. Plan your life. Plan your life because anything you don't have now, you will have them more in future. So plan your life. Go for what you need. Go for what you need. Be be careful so you don't pu pu um, pursue public interest at personal damage. It's very important what people will say, how I look. Oh, nobody's minding you, I'm telling you. And next one, plan your life. Sit down and plan your life. I listened to a testimony Chema Jesus gave. Um, about how her life was starting. She said something that uh, really touched me. She said one of the days she went out to wash her car. She saw two girls washing um, car at car wash. She called one of them, said, why are you washing car? That one said, um, I'm, I'm a student and I don't have money and I don't want to get money from the wrong source or whatever. So I came to wash her car. And she asked her, what do you want to do? The lady just went straight. I want to sell beads and blah, 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 blah. If you give me so, so amount of money, I'll usually go to a bar, buy the things, come back to Port Harcourt and sell. Your helpers want to hear plan. I have said it in my former video. That is what they will ask some people. They say, um, I don't know. I want to sell something, but I don't know how much it is. I don't even know how much the price of shop. Then the person is asking you how much, how much is that? I don't even know how much the price of shop is. I don't even know. Okay, I will go back and find out. My dear. When your helpers ask you that and that and tell them, leave this nonsense, I'll go back and find out. By the time you come back, the, 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 the mindset they had when they were asking you that thing and the next time you come back, it's not the same. You may not have the same result. So it's very important. Have your uh, your plan. Plan yourself very well. In our order now. Mm -hmm. So that when the opportunity just hits you, back up, you just grab it with 10 fingers. The next one, be committed to prayer. Learn to pray. I can't really talk about prayer a lot. I pray a lot to me. Hey, <laughs> my life. Ah, I must pray. Hey, pray. -o. The next one is giving. Balance your giving. For those of you who don't believe in tithing, I don't know how to help you. For me, um, even though now they say no pay tithe again, it's something I did from my childhood. I know the benefits. Pay your tithe. Give, um, give to this. I had um, a sister that got married. After she got married, they carried everything. They got in marriage and gave to the poor. My dear, the poor is always with you. Give to God. Give to God. Oh. Give to God because it is God you go back to for prayer when you are not okay. It is God you go back to to ask for help. Everything that happens to you is God. God, please help me. God, please help me. But when it's time to give, you will say giving to, to God is uh, still, uh, enriching pastors. No, just be lying to yourself. No, they lie. No, no, no. It's okay. They lie to yourself. It's okay. <laughs> the next one is be a good talker. After you've invested, worked with your hands, you need to be a good talker. Someone who will confess over the works of your hands. Pray over the things you've labored for. I'm blessed. The works of my hands is blessed. I will not waste. I will, this investment I made will not be a waste. Keep praying. Keep confessing it. Keep speaking positively. Don't say, uh, well, I've done my best. The rest, I don't know. Anything that comes out, I take it. Huh. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Learn how to make right confessions. Have strong faith. Have strong faith. Even though your, your, your faith be like a uh, mustard seed. Must, must you continue to be a mustard seed faith? Eh? Huh. Grow your faith now. And faith come by hearing and hearing of the word of God. Grow your faith. The next one is patient. There is time for everything. When you sow, there is time for you to wait for your harvest to come. So when it is waiting time, do not complain because it will come. Just be cheerful and happy and maintain a good attitude. It will surely come. And the last one, learn to thank God. Learn to thank God. 
These are ways you can come out of financial pressure. If you do these things I told you. And the last one I will mention before I leave is uh, leave your size. Oh. Leave your size. Because if you don't leave your size, it's related to uh, um, we, um, the lifestyle I spoke about, waste. Leave your size. Because you can't be living above your size and plan to come out of financial pressure. Who will bring you out? When God is bringing you out, you are putting yourself. <laughs> so please, leave your size and have a wonderful day. Me, I don't like pressure. I love living my life. Not you go and borrow from community. All the people you are borrowed from is calling you off your phone. Why can't, why can't you leave your size? Leave what you can have. There is, with all humility, I say this. There is nobody that cannot manage his life with what he has. You see all this borrowing? It's lack of discipline. Because if you want to manage yourself with what you have, you you'll be content even when you're hungry. You know that nobody's calling you. This one, everybody's calling you. You are even dodging some people because of all the money you've borrowed. It's an affliction. It's not from God. Have a wonderful day. I remain your girl and I keep it real. I love you, love you, love you. And I can't love you less. Yeah. Bling, bling. Bye. Oh, boy.